to any young women that are watching this right now, I hope to share with you a little bit of what I've learned on my journey. The hard way. I've learned a lot of things the hard way, which is why you should always listen to people so that you don't, no need to reinvent any wheels. There's no need for that. Don't do it. Always ask questions. Always, always ask questions. Sometimes it's scary to raise your hand in class. Do it. I guarantee you whatever question you have, everybody has the same question and or they didn't even think of that question. And when you ask it, they don't know the answer and they're listening because they want to know the answer. Never be afraid to ask. Or if you're afraid, try to overcome that fear and tell yourself, tomorrow no one will remember that I asked some silly question, even if it's not, even if it, I think it's silly, it's not silly. Ask it. And I don't know when this happened. It happened long before probably any of us were in school. People said, math is hard. I hate, and I try not to use that word too much, but I hate when people say, math is hard. You can say, the subject of math is challenging for me, but I will continue to work at it. Because once you put in your mind the idea, this is hard, this is hard, you may move right into the realm of, but this may be too hard for me. And I fear that young women especially, and I've seen this firsthand when I was moving into the advanced calculus courses in college, there are very few women. And why is that? And I, I've read some studies on this now, and they think it's because we start this discussion at this early age of, oh, well, it's hard. It's kind of hard. I can't tell you how much I stand. I, I, I can't stand hearing that. It, it's, it's a terrible thing. Never, never let anybody say that. I asked, once a student said to me, a classmate, how come you're in advanced calculus? And I said, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, you don't need it. It's hard, isn't it? Why would you spend the time to do that? All that extra work on calculus. You've already taken regular calculus. Why would you take advanced calculus? And I said, sometimes it's challenging, yes. But math is good. That's what I said. Math is good. You need math for every aspect of your life. Never shy away from something because you think it might be difficult. Because you know what will happen? You'll struggle. So things are challenging. But when you, even one aspect of it, when you start to understand it, there's no better feeling than that. And I promise in every aspect of my field that I work in, even if you don't directly if you don't have to apply math exactly to what you're doing, the people that do the best in my field are the people that did the most math, that took the most math classes. And so I always, always, always want young women to take as many math classes as possible because you need it for everything. You need it for writing. You need it. You need it for syntax. You need it to understand the flow of how writing works because numbers matter. How you structure a paragraph, how you structure a paper, how you structure a story. There's always a number beneath it, if that makes sense. A way that things flow. If something's too many sentences, too many words. It's not just the sound of it, it's how many are there. If you don't understand the structure of math, if you, I don't think you can understand the structure of language. You can't, how do you communicate if you don't know what's too long? Or the sound. Sound is based on math. Everything's based on math. There's math underlying everything that we do. And I want every young woman to take as much math as they can. I want them to read as much as they can. There's nothing, there's no piece of literature that is a bad piece of literature to be reading. My brother didn't like reading when he was young. And my parents were like, oh no, he needs to read. What do we do? He'll read what he has to read for class. And the teacher said, get him something he likes reading. And my brother loved to read comic books. And then I loved to read comic books. And then we would just pour through them and pour through them. We would walk to the convenience store by our house and read every, and the guy was so nice that worked there because we didn't have money to buy them. He would let us read every single one. And because of that, my brother found how much he likes to read. And now my brother's an amazing writer because of it. 
And so read anything you get your hands on that you like. And then do yourself the favor of then telling somebody about what you read. Because it's important to be able to read and understand. But the next step that will put you above everybody else is your ability to explain it. That is how you know you learn. You never learn anything better than when you have to explain it. So if, if I could tell anybody, take your math classes. Don't be afraid. Math is the coolest thing. And one of the coolest things about math is there's always a right answer. There's al- And I loved there was always a way to get 100%. It's not subjective, it's objective. And I love, I'm a scientist, I love rules. I work very well within them. And one of the greatest things about math is you can get everything right. When you write, writing is a wonderful thing too, I love writing, but you know, it depends. If whoever's reading it likes it or or not, or how they're feeling, there's a lot of emotion that goes into these, evaluating these topics. Math. You can always get 100 and you can always strive for it. You know you can do it. There's always an answer. And it's just like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. You love to see the finished product. With math, it's the same thing. It's a puzzle that you can get an answer to. And that's why I love it. But I I want everyone else to love it. It's so important. And then reading and explaining so that you know you've learned it. It's, it's a good thing. These are the things that I would tell young people now.